Hello everyone, my name is Justin, and on today's installment video, we'll be installing our Outlets Pulley Kit, part number 5300. So before installing this pulley kit, you want to disconnect your battery cables, wear safety glasses, and take any safety precautions needed. Now, let's get started. So the first step when installing this kit, you want to mount your water pump. You have three holes on the passenger side and three holes on the driver's side. Now that our gasket's in place, we can remove the bolts and add the bracket plate. When mounting the crank pulley, you want to make sure to use blue thread lock to prevent any bolts from coming loose. Now we mount the AC compressor using the rear bracket attached to the water pump. You want to leave it slightly loose for further, further alignment. With the bracket slightly tightened, now we mount the AC compressor. Mount the large bracket plate with a two inch spacer on the driver's side, right behind the idler, and the three inch spacer on the passenger side, going to the rear AC bracket. Now we tighten the top ear of the AC compressor bracket. Remember when tightening these bolts, we do not want to tighten them all the way. Just a nice snug fit for further adjustments. To mount the alternator, we only have two bolts, one on the top ear of the alternator, one on the bottom. One on the bottom reaches all the way back to the second first plate bracket. Make sure you screw it on. Forget to bolt down your alternator wire. Once you have your alternator secure and a power cable hooked up, you can mount the power steering pump.
Now that our brackets are mounted on, it's time to bolt our pulleys. Mounting the tensioner, we want to make sure we bolt it down to 25 foot pounds. <laughs> 